After almost 10 years, Rode brings back a microphone which, having already achieved greatness, is sure to attain with this new generation the rank of legend. I give you the NT1 5th generation by Rode. Now trust me when I tell you that there is more about this new NT1 than meets the eye at first glance. As a matter of fact, this is an incredibly innovative piece of audio gear as the world's first analog and digital microphone with 32-bit floating point recording capabilities and built-in DSP processing. Both analog and digital, you ask? Indeed, because it features Rode's new-to-the-world Dual Connect XLR USB-C connector, which allows you to get either a pure analog signal path through the XLR port or a pristine 32-bit floating point recording at sample rates up to 192 kHz without the use of an audio interface, simply by connecting the NT1 5th gen to a USB port. This makes it a great option for those who don't want to invest in an audio interface immediately but think they might want to incorporate one to their workflow later. It also features Rode internally shock-mounted updated HF6 capsule with self-noise measured at 4 dBA and the same Rode Revolution preamps found in the Rodecaster Pro 2, making the NT1 a great choice for capturing delicate low-volume sources and loud sources like drums and brass instruments alike. Originally released in 1991, the NT1 has become over the years a very popular microphone for musicians, vocalists, and audio engineer working in professional studios or in a home studio setup. The fourth and last generation of the NT1, until now, released in 2014, kept the design of the previous model, the NT1A, but with a new low noise capsule codenamed HF6, and a significantly lower self-noise measured at 4.5 dBA. The build quality was also upped with a body made of durable nickel-plated 6061 aluminum. The fifth generation brings back the sturdy design in two colors, silver and black, as well as an updated HF6 1-inch large diaphragm gold spurred condenser capsule, but with an even lower self-noise measured at 4 dBA and higher SPL handling capabilities. This gives the 5th gen NT1 a very wide dynamic range and makes it a perfect choice for delicate, low volume sound sources. As a matter of fact, the NT1 is the quietest large diaphragm studio microphone in the world. The capsule is built on an internal shock mount and the NT1 5th gen also comes with an external shock mount for mounting on a mic stand or a desktop tripod to minimize external vibrations and bumps even further, keeping your signal clean. The signature tone carries the legacy of the previous models with a focus on detailed mid-range response coupled with silky smooth high frequencies and a warm round bass reproduction, giving the NT1 this nice broadcast tone and making it a great option for spoken voice recordings as well. The NT1 is a side address microphone that can be powered with either 24 or 48 volt phantom power, making it compatible with both professional and entry-level mic preamps. Now, what makes the NT1 5th gen so special and different is that it is both analog and digital at the same time. The XLR port of analog microphones hasn't changed in roughly 50 years, but Rode finally upgraded it and added a USB-C connector nested in the XLR port. That means that you can get your signal through a pure analog path into your sound interface and then your DAW, or through the USB-C connector for a pristine signal without the need for an audio interface. And since we're talking about innovation, the NT1 5th gen is also the first 32-bit floating point recording microphone in the world, making audio clipping a thing of the past. Let me explain. With traditional 24-bit recording, whether you're using an XLR mic going into an interface or a USB microphone, you have a fixed dynamic range dictated by your 24-bit converters. In the studio, gain control is used to maximize the dynamic range without overloading the converters. But if the conditions change quickly, for instance, a singer might get closer to the microphone suddenly without giving time to the engineer to adjust the gain level, the converters might get overloaded, generating audio clipping. And once clipping has occurred, the audio is unrecoverable. 32-bit floating point devices use several AD converters running in parallel and recording the audio signal at different level. The signals are then intelligently stitched and result in a 32-bit floating point signal that cannot clip in your DAW. 
This means that when recording with a 32-bit floating point device, setting gain levels is virtually unnecessary. Your signal will always be recoverable even if it looks like it clipped during recording. This makes the NT1 5th gen a perfect option for recording delicate, low-volume sound sources, but it also means that it excels at recording loud sound sources like drums or brass instruments. And talking about low-volume sound sources, well, I already said that the NT1 5th gen is the quietest large diaphragm condenser microphone, but that wouldn't mean much without preamps to match that performance. And Rode didn't skim here either, as the 5th gen features the same Rode Revolution preamps found on the Rodecaster Pro 2 to get the power you need to record quiet sources. On top of all that, the NT1 5th gen has a DSP chip on board and features AFX processing with compressor, deesser, noise gate and the legendary AFX oral exciter and big bottom effect. And all of this happens right here in the microphone itself. To access all this processing, just connect your NT1 5th gen to your computer via USB-C and open the Rode Connect app. Last but not least, the NT1 comes with one more big innovation. And that is the way it handles the connection of multiple USB microphones to a single computer. If you've tried to plug in multiple USB microphones to a computer, you already know it is no easy task. It usually requires a lot of tinkering with computer settings, the creation of an aggregate device, and other fun extracurricular activities that just take away from your actual recording time. With the NT1 5th gen, you can say goodbye to that. When you plug the NT1 to a host computer, it will be recognized as an audio interface in your digital audio workstation. And if you plug another NT1 via USB, your DAW will automatically recognize it as a new input channel. So you can just plug multiple NT1s to a USB hub and they will all be recognized as independent audio inputs, making this new NT1 a great option for podcasts with multiple speakers. This might seem like a detail, but I think it's an amazing evolution for USB microphones, and I tip my hat off to the team at Rode for finally solving a problem that had more than one podcaster scratching their heads. So, who is the NT1 5th generation for? Well, historically, it's been a favorite of vocalists, instrumentalists, and audio engineer working in professional studios or in a home studio environment. Its slow noise, large diaphragm capsule makes it a perfect choice for vocals and instrument recording. And the NT1 has also found a home in the setup of solo podcasters and streamers. This new generation carries this legacy into the future and opens the door to new applications. For multiple speakers podcasts, for instance, or for streamers that need a microphone, but not necessarily an audio interface. And I think that while taking the NT1 back to the drawing board, Rode did an amazing job recreating a microphone that can be embraced by content creators of all horizons, and that could become a major player on the market for years to come. So this concludes this presentation of the brand new NT1 5th generation by Rode. And I gotta say, it is pretty exciting to see a microphone that brings so many innovations to the table. This new Dual Connect XLR USB-C connector is such a smart idea and I love that I can use this mic both as an analog input with my audio interface for sax recording for instance, and that I can also quickly plug it in via USB-C and get pristine recordings in the blink of an eye. It's also great to see a microphone with 32-bit floating point recording capabilities. As someone who's worked in a 24-bit workflow his whole life and ruined a plethora of audio stakes, this technology almost feels like magic, and I'm excited to see it built in a professional studio microphone. The onboard DSP processing and the AFX processors are a great addition to an already solid offering and are sure to bring that extra shine and broadcast quality finish to your podcast or your stream. And honestly, Rode had me at effortless multiple USB audio input management. I mean, that is such a great improvement that is sure to change the landscape of USB microphones across the board moving forward. So all in all, I think the NT1 5th generation is a giant leap forward from the last generation, and I can see it becoming a favorite of singer, musicians, audio engineers, podcasters, and streamers in the near future. But I'm curious, what do you think of the improvements made to this new generation of NT1? Are you ready to upgrade your audio setup with this one-of-a-kind XLR USB microphone? And what would you use it for? Music, recording, podcasting? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Gabe with BNH, and I'll see you next time.